Hi guys, we're Bobby 46 here, welcome yourselves back to MotoGP19 on the Xbox One X. We've already wrapped up the Moto2 World Championship, but we've still got four races to go. So we're going to Mategi next, then we go to Phillip Island, Sepang and Valencia. So Mategi, it doesn't really matter what we do here, but it would be nice to get a good result. FP3, it took me a while to get up to speed. I don't know if that's because I've been playing um, TT Alaman Ride on the Edge 2. Um, it didn't really take too long to get, you know, back to the handling of this. It wasn't like I was running off on every corner or anything. I think I was just generally being pretty slow. So um, up the inside of Laquona we go. But yeah, it soon got up to speed in free practice. Um, Hopefully we can have a good qualifying. We're already under Marquez's lap time of a 154.3. There's two and a half minutes to go. So uh, if I don't do anything on this lap, I'm going to have to try and do it on the next lap, which will be my final lap. But um, yeah, hopefully we should be okay. 0.6 under Marquez's time now. So we're looking like... We can have this one. I think we'll be okay. Through the V corner. And up to the next hairpin. Okay. Through hairpin curve onto the straight. And we've got 90 degree corner. We're 0.7 under Marquez's time. We're looking at a... Uh, a 153 so getting to the end of our qualifying lap okay run to the line where is this going to put me should be pole is it going to be 153 maybe even a 152 153 4 that will do Pole position by 0.7 of a second from Baldessari. Okay, so we need to do tyres. 37 degrees, medium front, hard rear. I think that will be okay. I think that will do us. What's everyone else gone for? Soft front, medium rear, soft front, hard rear, medium front, medium rear. So a wide selection of different tyres. Just a few moments to go, and the Japanese Grand Prix will begin. Okay. Mategi. Me and Mategi don't get on, as you all well know. So uh, let's see how we get on. Okay. Oh, not a good start. Not a good start at all. So we are in eighth place at the moment. Maybe no ninth. Now eighth again. So we have in fact seen a couple of uh, gameplay trailers for MotoGP 20, which is looking very, very promising. Um, yeah, looking forward to when that comes out. If that's going to get delayed, it may well do because Milestone are all working from home. Um, so it may get delayed. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. I'm sure they'll uh, announce something if that is going to be the case. But uh, we have seen some gameplay of it. And it is looking uh, looking good. Fernandez is down. Augusto Fernandez has crashed. I am up to 6th place. Just behind Nagashima. And his teammate Remy Gardner just ahead of him. Not close enough to uh, do anything at the moment. Maybe get Nagashima now, though. Oh, not quite. Not going to be able to get around the outside, so that's not going to work. We've got to speed up trying to get up the inside. But not able to. So that's me back into fifth, but going to be back down to sixth. Because his bike is a little bit quicker. Okay, down to 90 degree corner. I'm on the wrong side of Nagashima. I'm going to go wide as well. Oh, uh -oh. no, that wasn't good. So standing in sixth, end of lap one of 15, and I am still in sixth place. 
I don't think I'm going to be close enough to have a lunge into turn one. So, Baldessari at 1.59 on the first lap. Let's just see if there's any place where I'm going to be able to get past Nagashima. I don't feel like I can go that much quicker, if I'm honest. I know in qualifying I was 0.7 quicker, but I don't feel like I have that in hand at the moment. I'm back up to fifth, but he's going to have the inside. Yeah, there he goes. Gardner went wide. So still struggling to get past Nagashima at the moment. Maybe around the outside through turn six. Put me up the inside for seven. In fact, we're already past. So that is fifth place for me at the moment. Remy Gardner, he is uh, my next target. The Marquez is in third. Baldazari is still out front. He's got uh, not much of a gap. I mean, I want to get some good results in the last few races because of the team championship. We aren't too far behind Dynavolt. So ideally, we need to uh, keep getting good results and hopefully maybe just sneak it. But uh, it's going to be a big ask because my teammates aren't really scoring any points. So it's purely down to me at the moment. And usually when that happens, I usually end up having a crash at some point and uh, not getting very good results. So... It's a big ask, but we'll have to wait and see. Okay, so... Better exit than Gardner out of the final corner, but not enough to get past. Can I get past him through turn one? Fastest lap of the race, 154.093. Not able to get past Gardner yet. Again, got a slightly better exit at the last corner. But not able to do anything with it. So Gardner remaining in fourth, but not for long. Okay, I am through into fourth place. How long for? Probably not long. Is he up the inside? Yes, he is. So that's me back down to fifth momentarily I'm on the inside now I've got this so that is fourth place for sure Marquez is all over the back of Luti it looked like Luti went a bit wide in the last couple of corners Baldessari is still up front got a little gap not much but I think he is just starting to break away a little bit more I am very wide into uh, V corner so not a good corner that one that went in way too hot that's given Marquez a little bit more of a gap over me it looks like Luti's oh Luti's gone wide again so have I followed him in Marquez had his uh, line cut off at the end there when he was trying to exit the corner but yeah I thought uh, Luti was closing in on Baldessari but that was purely because he went in a little bit too hot into the last corner Though maybe they are just starting to reel Baldessari back in. I don't know. No, I think it's uh, looking about the same, that gap at the moment. So, out of victory corner. Onto the grass is not where I want to be. Okay, so another 154. That was not as good as my last lap, though. Baldessari, yeah, he's got a little gap. Marquez is trying to get past Luti, but he can't seem to find a way at the moment. I expect he's just waiting for Luti to go wide again. Um, and then try and sneak through. So, half a second to Marquez at the moment. Yeah, I'm not feeling like I've got this one under control at the moment. Luti went wide again through turn five. But Marquez not able to get through. It's two laps on the trot that Luti's done that. We're closing now. Okay, so we are on the back of Marquez now. Can we get through? We're on the wrong side for V corner, so that's not going to work. Luti went in a bit too hot into turn 9 as well. 
But that is me. Is that going to be passing to third? No, it's not. Not yet. Oh, Luti wide again. Marquez a little bit wide. And I got him on the exit. So that is me through into third place. But probably not for long. I'm expecting Marquez to come back past. Bit of a gap to Luti now. Down to 90 degree corner. There we kept it. Luti went a little bit wide. But the important thing is that Mark has actually stayed behind. So we're on the podium at the moment. Right, we need to get past Luti because he is our main rival for the team championship. Where is Schrotter? The new fastest lap of the race by me, 153.6. Schrotter is down in 8th place. So ideally I need to get ahead of Luti and uh, make sure I get Baldazar as well. Baldazar is starting to pull the pin now. Luti wide. He keeps going in too hot into the corners. He's trying to make it all up on the brakes. That's not going to work. I'm going to go around the outside of him. That will work. But he's probably going to have a lunge into the next corner. No, he's not. Okay. Wow. That was unexpected. He looked on the uh, the exit, but he wasn't quick enough. So now, all I've got to do is uh, chase down Baldessari. The gap is half a second. Whoa, that was Luti and way too hot then, I think. Sounded like he went in too hot. Okay, into V corner. We're only on lap 5, so we've still got plenty of time to try and catch Baldazari. But yeah, just not feeling like I've got the speed that I had in qualifying. I know I was on soft tyres, and now I'm on the medium front and hard rear. I think I maybe should have gone for the hard front, actually. Just because the medium front is not feeling that great. If I remember rightly, is on a soft front, so that's going to be feeling even worse. But he's making it work at the moment. It was was he the person that was on a medium rear and a soft front? He may well be. So our tyres may come into it because we obviously got a hard rear tyre on. So yeah, we may be able to close him down towards the end of the race. The rear is starting to move around a little bit. Okay, through turn three, we are still closing on Baldessari. We usually get a bit of time back through turn four. And we do again. That gap is just under two tenths of a second as we go down to the next corner. We're on him. We're on him. It's whether I can get through or not through turn six. I'm on the wrong side for the next corner. Didn't make uh, the best chance of that one. Okay, so down to the corner. Through we go. So yeah, staying in second place, but we are all over the back of Baldessari at the moment. Coming up to the next corner. I didn't want to go up the inside there, but it's worked. Or has it? gone wide. No, it hasn't worked. Okay. And a wheelie as well. That's not what I wanted to do. I wasn't actually intending to go for a pass there, but it just kind of happened. Um, obviously didn't stick because I went in a bit too hot. Baldessari had the cut back and managed to get the drive out the corner. So we're back down to second place. And we are at the end of lap number six. Through victory corner and onto the start finish straight. A bit of a wheelie again. I found that the bike is wheeling more around this track than any other track we've been to so far. I know I've got anti wheelie turned off, but um, usually it's not too bad. So that gap is still there to Baldessari. We've had one look at getting past him one unintentional look and uh, 
Yeah, didn't stick. Here we go. This could be a way of getting past. Not quite. Not quite. Okay, so down to the next corner. See, Badazari's hitting that apex every time. Luti was going wide every time. Okay, through turn six. Up the hill we go. Closing back in on Badazari. Not close enough to get up the inside, though. A bit wide from me through turn seven. Down to turn nine, V corner. Baldazaro's got some decent pace this time, so I'm definitely going to have to try to uh, get past him, which is good, because we like to make a race of it. In fact, it looks like he's pulled away a little bit, but we close in again on the brakes. To the chicane. So not really any closer this lap. The gap over the line, what is it going to be? Half a second? 0.3. So yeah, didn't really make much ground on that previous lap. We're on lap 8 now. Still not past Baldazari. The good thing is, he's not really getting too far away still able to keep him honest oh here we go again out of there is probably definitely the best place for me to get the uh, the run on him and get the lead back so that's me back into the lead down into this corner oh no no ah okay around the outside I've gone wide though no! Just touched the grass there. Radazari was right in the way on my tipping point, which uh, was not ideal. So he's fighting. He's literally, as soon as I get past, I've gone way too wide there. Um, yeah, as soon as I get past, he's straight back underneath at the next corner. So 0.6 of a second is the lead now. One second back to Luti. So uh, Luti is uh, still ahead of Marquez by the looks of it. Thought Marquez might have got past him by now, but maybe tyres are coming into play. My front tyre is not feeling great. It's feeling okay. But... Um, yeah, Baldazari's front tyre's got to start going off very soon. If indeed he is on the soft, I can't quite remember. I know someone was. Or a few of them were on soft fronts. So, of course, I'll have a go again. Out of, out of the next corner, turn four. I don't think I'm close enough this time. I'm not. We do get the run on him, but not enough. Not enough. Down to the next corner. I can see me getting second place in this race, you know, because I can't seem to find a way to make a pass stick on Baldazari at the moment. Though we are all over the back of him now. Okay. Up towards the next corner. Lorenzo Baldazari still leads. I was in a little bit too hot there anyway. Okay, that is... A pretty good exit, we can use a little bit of slipstream, but I don't want to use too much because I want to make sure I get the bike stopped for the next corner. Don't want to go in too hot. We 
we'll definitely close that gap down. Maybe lap 10 is going to be the lap where we manage to get past. Maybe his tyres are starting to go off a bit as well. Looking forward to the uh, asymmetric tyres in MotoGP 20. And obviously the uh, looking after the fuel as well. So that wasn't a very good couple of corners, was it? That was pretty poor from me. Down into turn three. Right. Try and get as close as I can through turn four and get the run out. Not close enough to get past Schrotter is up another position. I need to get past Baldazari. Ideally, I need Marquez to get past Luti as well, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think Luti is going to hold on to third. Oh, we've got the run on him. We've got the run on him. Not quite close enough, though. So not quite able to get past Baldazari, but I feel like we're building towards something as I go very wide into V corner. That's let him off the hook for a little while. So I don't think we are going to get him on this lap. Gone in too hot again. Front tyre is not liking me going in too hot into corners. So we're going to have to wait another lap. As we come to the end of lap 10. But I feel like we've got a few corners where we're going to be able to attack. Our main place is out of turn 4. We just need to be a little bit closer. Ah. Oh keep wheeling in the wrong place as well so over the line the gap is half a second exactly at the moment on lap 11 I'm in too hot to turn one again I'm not going to be close enough to have a go into turn four I don't think unless I can really close in on the brakes closed in a bit but it's not going to be enough Come on, come on, come on. Tell you what, that might do it. No, it won't. We're not close enough. We are not close enough. Okay, everyone stay calm. We've pulled away a bit more from third and fourth. Here we go up the inside. Yeah, that's it. I was in Baldazari's way that time, and that. Is the longest I've been in the lead now. So finally on lap 11. Managed to get through into the lead. We'll see if Baldazari can attack me again. But we've already got a little gap. We're already pulling away. What is the gap? 0.8. So we've almost got a second already. I haven't got to worry about running into the back of him or anything. I can take my own lines. So we are in the ideal situation at the moment. Marquez and Luti look like they're really close together on track. Right, what's the gap over the line? That's the important one. I think the gap's gone up. The gap is over a second, fastest lap of the race, 153.5. We are currently on fire. Okay. All good so far. Right, through we go on turn three, not a very good line. I didn't actually check to see if Luti was still ahead of Marquez. We're on lap 12 of 15. We're nearly at the end. It is Mategi, so I am going to keep my wits about me because uh, obviously, you know, things happen here with me. And usually bad things. 
And we have three more races left to go in Moto2, Phillip Island, Sepang and Valencia. And then we're up to MotoGP for our final season of the game. And hopefully by the time we finish that, MotoGP20 will be out unless of course it's delayed. So what is the gap? 1.2. See what it is over the line of course. Down to 90 degree corner. Okay, into the chicane and victory corner. Kept the front wheel on the ground that time as well so that's good. Okay, so what is the gap? One second. So that gap's actually come down a bit. Admittedly, my lap time wasn't as good as my last lap. But my tyres are starting to work against me, especially the front. I feel like I'm starting to understeer a bit with the... Uh, front is definitely going off. That's too wide. Oh, are we going to choke right at the end of the race? Gap is under a second now. 0.9. Trotter's up to 7th again. And again I didn't see who was actually in 3rd. Yeah, I'm starting to uh, worry a little bit about my front tyre. They'll obviously see me to the end, but it is uh, wearing out and I can definitely feel the effects of that. Alright, I think the gap is pretty much stabilised at the moment, but we shall see when we get to the next split. So it was under a second, it still is. Still pretty much the same gap as it was before. Now he actually closed me down in the last sector last time. So we'll see what the gap is over the line. And I will have a look to see who's actually in third place. That gap is definitely coming down. Half a second. Third place is still Luti, closely followed by Marquez. Come on, Marquez, get in front of Luti, please. But yeah, Badazari is right there. Come on, come on. Let's try and keep it. This is the penultimate lap of the race. All we've got to do is get through this. The gap's back up to 1.1. I think uh, Badazari may have gone in a little bit too hot in the last corner. So um, it's given me a little bit of breathing space. That could be the gap I need to get me to the end. 1.3. And we've got uh, one and a half laps to go. to V corner for the penultimate time and then we've just got to try and hold on for one more lap right through hairpin curve point nine so yeah the gap has come back down he's not given up he's got one more chance to try and uh, get past me oh one more lap to do it I'm not feeling that confident with this uh, front end now so the gap over the line I think it's a bit more than what it was last time it was half a second last lap 0.9 Come on. 
just finish this lap as we are and we'll be fine. I think last lap he went in too hot into turn three which potentially cost him quite a bit of time. Okay, the gap is 0.9 still so the gap is staying as it was. I don't want to do anything stupid on this final lap, that is for sure. But I would like to keep hold of the lead. Phillip Island should be quite a good race. I mean, I usually go well there anyway. Gaps back up to a second. Sepang is usually a good race for me as well. And then we end up in the horrible Valencian circuit, which I do not like. Okay, so we've just got a few corners left to go. The gap has come down actually. That gap looks like it's really come down. 0.9, it looks smaller than that, but okay, it's actually only come down a tenth of a second. Oh, Remy Gardner's crashed. Oh, that's going to promote Schrotter to seventh as well. It's not good for Remy. through the chicane and run to the line tell you what he was closing he was closing but it is a victory at Mategi for me in Moto2 we didn't need to win of Stars course of but their final lap. Let's take of these uh, we take are still fighting for the Moto2 team championship Lutie's still got third unfortunately for me So we will, of course, extend our lead, but we've already won the Pride's Championship. 146 points now. Only 75 left on the table. And Dynavolt has still got a nine-point lead at the moment. Undoubtedly, it was a perfect day for him. In addition to the victory, his position also earns him 25 priceless championship points. Okay, then. That is Mategi dealt with. Three races left. Right, let's check the leaderboards then. Of course, starting with Red Bull Rookies Cup. And then it is Noguchi leading that from Dupas Squire second. Tate third. Salvador fourth. And Yuki Kuni in fifth place. Moto three is Messia leading that. Antonelli in second. Dalla Porta up to third. Canet in fourth. And Darren Binder in fifth place. Moto 2, obviously, I've got a huge lead in that. And it's Luti in second, Baldessari third, Alex Marquez fourth, and Luca Marini in fifth place. And Moto GP is Rins leading now from Marquez in second, Rossi third, Dovi fourth, and Crutchlow in fifth. Anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. I shall see you guys next video. See you.